how's 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 driving going? How, how's it going on the uh, flip side though? Where, who, who are you driving for, and 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 what are you doing? What have you been doing? Um. Uh, well, I uh, I drive for with Varian. Um, oh I've been driving with Varian since like September of last year. How how are they treating you? And, um, because another another TikToker that used to drive for Variant, she she said that her experience with uh, Variant hasn't been the greatest. She she uh, she got a truck that had roaches in it. She was sexually assaulted. Uh, they told her, huh? yeah, they told her that. Uh, they told her, you know, she went to report it, and then they told her that, you know, if she was if she was to go on her TikTok and talk about it, they they'll do, you know, they'll do something to her, and just made just made the whole experience over at Variant very very uh, toxic. So, how how has how has they been? Really? Yeah, yeah. How how they been treating you though? Um. I mean, I like it over here. Um, you know, I, I could use more pay, you know what I mean? But as far as the way things are done, you know, I'm comfortable with it. Like I said, I've been over here since September of last year, so September 1st. So, so after I left News Bomb, I came over here. And, um, you know, I've been over here. I got a brand new truck. So I'm, I'm the first person to drive my truck, um, and you know sometimes you know, like with the loads and stuff, sometimes you get good loads. Sometimes you might get a load that you ain't too fond of. But yeah, I mean it's just you take the good with the bad. But it's all money, so okay. Um, okay. So what vary? So since you haven't had no issues with varying, and you only been there uh, since what September of last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the difference uh, between because I know we talked about news bomb that was, that was our initial conversation uh, last year with the issues that you was going through with news bomb. So what's the so what is the big the biggest difference between leaving news bomb and going with variant? Well, the biggest thing I'm not treated like a robot. And I don't have nobody calling me, getting on my nerves, like, oh, why are you ain't sleeping for too long? I'm be late, or, you know, nobody's getting on my nerves. Like, I'm my own person. Like, you know, I don't have nobody in behind me. I ain't got nobody I got to report to. You know, I call them if I got a problem or something, you know. But they've changed a lot of stuff lately that, you know, the ops people are really much of they've been going through so much stuff with drivers and a lot of drivers just don't be you know wanting to do what they need to do and stuff and so it's been like quite good well, for us right now well i i don't know there there has been some you know there has been some drivers that <clears throat> that really has some issues with variant you know as as of late you know what i'm saying but there's been this one TikToker, you know, she she been pushing variant like ever since she got there. And she turned out, you know, she turned Yeah, that's out, the Joe John girl, right? Yeah, she turned out to be the uh, you know, the BD ambassador, you know, she was able to, you know, get a lot of get a lot of people in through referrals and stuff like that. But some people that came in up under her kind of felt that she kind of sugarcoated everything that was going on over at Variant. Like, she said that uh, you know, it's possible to get cis figures over there and and you just mentioned yourself that the money yeah, you know, that the money yeah, could be you know, better. So... Yeah, money-wise, I'm, I'm just right off the... Yeah. I mean, I used to watch her and see how she would talk to people and get people in and stuff and they, she, you know, I'm making all this money, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, you know, no, um, it, it's, it's not like that. You know, what you get over here is 
you get newer equipment, you know, you get, um, you get loads, you know, not all the loads you may want to do, but you get loads and, um, you know, you going to make any, like before they used to add an extra four cents if you drove, you know, like 2,400 miles in a week or 34, however, 3,400, whatever it was, they would give you an extra four cents. But as of like December 31st, they took that away. So wow. it is just strictly like your 60 cents. And, um, but it's per diem. So you get like 58 cents per mile, but per diem, you will get still the extra two cents within that. Cause they, that's like pay that's, that, that's not taxable. So you still get that, but it's like, you're not really seeing it when you get actually get your settlement. So the, what I'm going to say is, is that the money could be better, but definitely, you know, as far not, as everything else not, is not, okay. Not, so it's like. Not six figures like she's claiming. No, it's not that. <laughs> all right, it's all definitely right. not that. So, what well, variant in the in the short time that you've been there, uh, and you did say they are treating you good. So, I, I don't think I, I don't foresee you leaving anytime soon until you, unless you get something better. But since you know, since for the little time that you have been there, um, a lot of people say that. Variant is uh, the sister company of U.S. Express, which I agree. I mean, that's just my opinion. But has has other than pulling the trailers, has there been anything else that you saw that can that can coincide and say, "Yo, this this ain't variant. This is straight U.S. Express." Um. Uh... I'm gonna say it's it. Okay, you 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 when you want to deal with somebody, you deal with the people on the variant side. But definitely, the people if you got like an issue, breakdown, something, all that's U.S. Express. Um, but I will say is the people that's on variant side. I'm not gonna say we're treated better. Or something, because I don't want to, you know, split up people or nothing like that. But I'm just gonna say, like, it's good over here. They, they, if, if before, you know, you would really feel like, oh, they want to keep the drivers happy. But like, they've made some changes and stuff. Like I say, within the last month, where not everybody it favors everybody, and it's gonna keep people happy, right? But um, I'm gonna just say, it is U.S. Express because U.S. Express owns variant right right Right. but variant is its own entity variant is we're we're on people so you know it's it's its own but it's owned by us express so all right right. so So you don't have like how us express how you have a dispatcher calling you getting on your nerves mm -hmm. or you all that no you don't have no it's not none of that okay that's what's up all right so so with that, with that said, with variant, uh, what what they got you doing? Like, are are you doing regional? You doing over the road? What? No, I'm over the road. Oh, okay, so you so yep, you I'm over the road. So you doing all forty eight? Yeah, I, I've been so many places. Like, and to be honest, like, I enjoy what I'm doing. You know. Actually, I had a good experience yesterday because I'm just over last weekend. I was out in Los Angeles because I was coming back on the 40. I never heard of uh, a place called Two and Totem over in Amarillo, Texas. Mm-hmm. I finally, you know, saw that place, stopped over there and um, ate, got a shower and all that. Like, my whole experience was good. And I was like, damn, I didn't even know this was here. So, um, so yeah, I mean, just me being out here period like I enjoy what I do you know I wake up when I want I do my do my miles and stuff I make my money you know I'm doing I'm doing it so I'm gonna say I like it um but again not everybody wants to go far not everybody wants to do long call not everybody wants to you know be out be gone you know so it don't work for everybody because I got like got um, 
got buddy drivers, you know, that complain all the time, you know. I'll tell their ass, well, quit, shit, you know. You so quit. it don't work for everybody. Ooh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. What, um, what, since you've been touching states now, which is there a particular state that you just, just hate driving in? I'm going to say <clears throat> that I don't like to drive. <sighs> to me, Pennsylvania is depressing. Yes. I don't like you. it over there. Thank you. So depressing. Thank you. I, I mean, not not just as depressing. It's just, I mean, it's it it takes it it takes an hour or an hour and a half from from Ohio to Pennsylvania, right? But then when you get into Pennsylvania, uh -huh. when you look at the map and you see that Pennsylvania is you know the connection between Pennsylvania and going to New York, it just takes forever to get through Pennsylvania. Like, bro, uh -huh. god damn it, man, forever. But, uh, but yeah, I and not only that, it's just, you know, it's not very many places like to stop, you know, to get uh, convenient food and stuff. If you want to eat out, say you do, there's like two places. I, I don't even remember the location, but it was like two places I found that were good um, areas. But, like, it's, it's, like, so many miles spread apart. And then as you want to get to, like, what is uh, Maryland? Um, what is that other state? I'm going to, if I want to come down, what is that, 85 or what is it, 81? Over, just over in that side, like, mm -hmm. you know, there's not really much rest areas. you got to drive. Like, if you're ready to get low on your time, if you ain't planned your shit out, you just riding. Well, you may you ain't gonna find a place to park, to stop, to do nothing. I mean, yeah, it's just I, they can have it over there. I really don't care to go over there. That's where. So, like, if I see a load going over there, mm -hmm. I call in and be like, "Hey, you know, can you do something, work something out? I, can you, you know, can, can you give me something different? Because, like, you know, I'm, I don't know." I'll, I'll, I'll be like I'm sick or something. <laughs> I'm sick, or I pick the load up. Okay, where's the nearest terminal to drop it at? I, you know, some shit, man. I don't, I don't like it over there. Oh, man, have you been? Yeah, to, going have, further east. Have you been to the Shippensburg uh, terminal? Shippensburg, I, yeah, I've been up there. I've been up there, Shippensburg. I've been to the up there. I've been up there to. Where did I go? Uh, P and G. Yeah, right next, Gamble. Yeah, right next door there. to it. Yeah. I fucking hate that terminal. I really That's do. Where I, went. I cannot stand mm -hmm. Shippensburg. 